Hello there, it's William Robson here. Um, this is a low res, which you can see is very messy. Um, it's a sphere that I did a little bit of sculpting on uh, last night, just to test a, uh, an idea for a brush that made holes. Uh, simple as that. So there you go, there's, uh, let's see how many polygons there is there. Uh, there's 2.3 million. Now, while that's great to sculpt on, and you can come up with all sorts of concepts, and I do it very regularly, I've got hundreds of these things lying about, uh, they're not really much use for um, a target for either normal maps or displacement maps, as a rule. Um, one of the reasons is, especially around the ears, with them being pulled out um, from a sphere, you get lots of stretching. You can see there's even, if I zoom in, there's a little bit of banding still. Um, it's good for uh, coming up with concepts and stuff. So, you may think, well, I want to use a different topology. So what I've done is I've imported um, under here, if I just select it, down here, which you won't be able to see. And I'll try hide unselected. Right, there you go. And that's my retopologized uh, base mesh. It's not the world's best retop job. It was done very, very fast uh, just for this particular one. Right, so what I'm going to do is unhide everything pressing U, like that, and I've selected the low res mesh, turn wireframe off, and I've got a maps, extract texture maps, new operation. We're going to want a displacement map, so I'm going to go use selected, I'll just select it in the list, and then quickest way is to add all, and then quickly remove the things you're not going to need. So in this case, I need Sphere, which is my high resolution mesh. Um, we can also, uh, if I just quickly pick the uh, the main mesh, I can turn on the bump map as well, just so you can see what it's supposed to look like, like that, okay? Right, now I'm going to make a uh, 4K map out here, um, and I'm going to go furthest. The reason I'm going to go furthest is because in the nose area, um, if it goes to the closest, uh, it's going to get some uh, weird uh, projection. So in this case, the furthest is going to make um, the most sense. Okay, and then it's just a matter of hitting this. That's in there. Let's just try and find uh, the right folder. Because as you see, there's a lot of models here. And it should be the monster heads, and there he is. I'd stick it in there, and I'd select that. It's 32-bit floating, floating point. As you can see, I've already saved this out to save some time. Okay, and that's as a 2K on there. Save it out. I'm going to pause this, and then we'll create a new scene with just the low res retop mesh in. Right, so here we are. Um, brand new scene. There's no subdivision levels. Uh, it's been UV'd in headers which I absolutely love, by the way. Um, I'll just quickly subdivide this up to about 2 million or so. Once we have it subdivided, like that, we go to our maps, sculpt using displacement. Then, select our mesh, and go and pick our displacement map, which is under monster heads, and there it is there. Okay. Now, usually as a rule, um, you'll see with this one having as many holes in, uh, it's an absolute nightmare to project from. Uh, and in this case, it would need a little bit of uh, clean up around here with some of the larger holes, and possibly around the nose. Okay. And you simply go like this and wait a little while. Now, unless you're doing crazy sh stuff like I do, um, you won't have a problem. In fact, you can reverse it, you can turn it up a bit. Uh, you can see inside the eyes, well, we weren't projecting the eyes themselves. We made a little bit of clean up there. Maybe a little clean up inside of the nose, which we can do rather quickly. Just take down maybe a subdivision level or two. And then just get a hold of that. In fact, the grab brush might actually do it better. Let's smooth some of these areas out, put X symmetry on, and it would re sculpt that quite easily. And step back up. Smooth up those areas. Do it one subdivision level at a time. 
it's much easier. You see there, we've got one more subdivision level, it'll go crazy on the next one, with some spikes, unless we're really lucky. You see there, let's smooth those out, you can use the scrape brush as well by the way. Um, I'm just using, used to using smooth all the time. There's no hard and fast rules with uh, with digital sculpting, you know. We'll just carve that out a bit, maybe add a bit more along there. Um, but in this case, the danger ones are around here. Because there was so much pinching uh, on the high res at the bottom of these spikes, uh, you can see that it's had a problem. And we'd have to redo those again. But you've got to admit, that saves you a whole lot of time. And if you're using standard stuff and not crazy models with thousands of holes on, uh, like this one, it'll project fine. I've done it quite a few times. Um, be quite a simple matter to uh, paint your bump map. Just create a one, you know, straight in there. Uh, we wouldn't be able to use it with that, that particular material. So we just create another one of those. Like that. Remember you should always apply materials at a lower resolution than this. Unfortunately I don't usually have that um, luxury when I'm doing these. We've got our bump map. It'll calculate the tangents so it knows where everything's going to go. Use maybe the airbrush. We've got a stamp there. In fact, we'll use this one. Um, we've got a white. Let's just make it jet black. Randomize. And you can see there we can paint a bump map quite easily. That's way over the top. So let's try 25. Too low. Something like that. You could then go in with, say, the pencil, get a fall off, something small, and then go down, make sure you've got a steady stroke on, and you'll be carving all sorts of wrinkles. Um, there you go. So that's how uh, you can project from one mesh to another. Now, if you just needed to UV it, uh, see you'd forgotten to UV it, or maybe you wanted to do a different set, on your high res, instead of importing a new mesh, re mesh just go to Import UV. That'll then update in here, right? Uh, occasionally, very occasionally, you may need to recreate the level UVs, um, but as a rule, you won't. Okay, I hope that's been of some help, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.